hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel make sure that you do so by clicking on the subscription button and if you have any questions uh, feel free to contact me on any of these lines on the screen okay so uh, we have this question here which says uh, a wire of length 1.7 meters hangs vertically from a fixed point as shown in the figure the, the, the wire has a cross section area of 5.74 times 10 to the power negative 8 meters squared and is made of a material that has a Young's modulus uh, that is of 1.6 times 10 to the power 11 pascals and then a load of 25 newtons is hung from the wire calculate the extension of the wire so the first question is asking us to, uh, to calculate the extension of the wire and then uh, the other question will solve it immediately after that so yeah so we can now we can now begin to solve all right so we know to say um a stress stress that is in the wire stress in the wire is uh given by the force over uh, area and then apart from that we also know to say the strain is given by the extension over the or original length okay so when we combine the two uh or, or when we divide the two rather yeah when we combine the two by dividing we get what is called the young's modulus so we get what is called the young's modulus so the Young's modulus, in short, is just uh, found by combining the two. You divide. It's just the ratio of the stress over the the strain. So when you divide the two, you get what is called the Young the Young's modulus. So this is just the same as saying force over area divided by uh, the um, extension over the original length, which is just the same as force over area times the length over the extension so when you do that you find the Young's modulus as uh, F times L over A over the extension so when you cross multiply here to make uh, the extension the subject of the formula you find that the extension will simply just be equal to F times L over area times the Young's modulus so this gives us the formula to calculate the extension so this, here it's just a matter of replacing the figures. So we have the force that has been given is, uh, where is the force? Is 25 newtons. So we're just multiplying 25 times uh, the length that has been given is, um, yeah, the length that has been given is, where is the length? I can't see the length, 1.7 meters. So that is 1.7 meters. So this is in newtons. This is in meters. And then everything divided by, um, we're multiplying the area, the cross sectional area, which is just um, 5.74 times 10 to the power negative 8 uh, meters squared. We're multiplying this with um, the Young's modulus that has been given, which is just 1.6 times 10 to the power 11 pascals. So to find the extension here, you just use a calculator there. So and I mean, I mean, after using your calculator, you discover that the answer you find is simply just 4.6 times 10 to the power negative 3 meters. So this is yeah. So this is the this is the extension that they wanted us to find. All right, so let's quickly move on to the next question. So the next question is the same load is hung from the second wire of the same material. This wire is twice the length of uh, the same volume. I mean the length, but the same volume as the first wire. State and explain how the extension of the second wire compares with that of the first wire. So they are asking us to explain here. We don't have to solve anything. We have to explain how the um, the extension of the wire compares with the uh, of the first wire compares with the that of the second wire 
so we know to say the cross section area of the second wire according to the explanation you discover that the cross section area of the second wire after the extension is simply just going to be equal to the wire is twice the length so the cross sectional area of the second wire is just going to be equal to um, a half that of the first wire so a half times uh, the area of the first wire will give us the area of the second wire after the extension so we know to say this extension is simply just yeah so we know to say this extension the extension is simply just uh, so the extension will simply just be uh, if we know to say the extension this one extension is directly proportional I mean it's inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area so the extension is inversely let me use this symbol is inversely proportional to the cross section area uh, which implies that uh, yeah it's inversely proportional to the cross section area so the extension in other words is just going to be equal to um, yeah so it's uh, inversely proportional to that and then we know to say okay let, let us not okay even this one is okay but let us also talk it talk about this in terms of stress we know to say this the first stress i mean the second stress is equal to two times uh the first stress yeah so the second stress will be two times the first stress yeah 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 two times the first stress so from this expression here we can conclude that if we are to find the second stress second stress there second stress we are going to have two times the first stress but the first stress contains the areas the denominator and then we said area two if uh, area two if this is our area two is half times area one so if this is area one here we divide that we're just going to have two it's just the same as saying two over uh, two over uh, a half area uh, a half area uh, half area one in short area one so when we do that this and that is just the same as multiplying so let me put the other things here so we have f the same f so f is not changing it's constant so we have the same f there so to find the stress to this is just going to be uh, 4 times um, 4 times f over area 1 yeah that is the that is what we're going to get as the second stress so looking at this constant the coefficient of uh, the first stress the coefficient of the first stress will simply just be equal to the coefficient that we're going to give to the uh, uh, second extension so we know to say this stress the stress here is directly proportional to the extension so if the extension is directly proportional to the uh, stress when you look at that this implies that if the stress is multiplied by 4 even the extension will be also multiplied by 4 hence since we have uh, this uh, 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 stress uh, being multiplied by 2 the second stress it means that even the second extension there uh, I rather even the extension will be uh, multiplied by 4 so this is just the same as saying the second extension will simply just be equal to uh, four times the first extension this is what it means so you can just conclude by writing this yeah so this is exactly what you are supposed to do to solve the second equation uh, to, to solve the second question all right thank you very much for watching today's uh, tutorial make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed and um, uh, you can also recommend other people to come and visit my channel for mathematics and physics if you have other questions apart from uh, rather if you have other questions uh, in math and physics feel free to contact me on any of these lines on the screen and those that are looking for private tutors feel free to contact me as well see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom